Alright, who's moving forward? Oh, is it gonna happen? There is the stun from the Impale. Barcode is coming in. Living Bomb. Ruthless Onslaught trying to maybe help Suna get away, but he's going down fast. Living Bomb and the Flame Strike will be enough to get first. Sony is rotating in, so they still want to try to stop this. And Lex fairly low on mana here. Dai is gonna come in. A stun down on top of him as he's trying to chase down KO. Arthalon back into the fight now, though. He's going to get stunned out of trying to whirlwind away. He won't be able to save him, though, and he will go down. Soldier trying to go in for a little bit of a flank. Has to be careful. Oh, great Dwarf Toss to escape that gravity lapse. A big deal there. But Zuna, uh, this is going to be really oh. careful here. I don't know. I think he's going to get taken out. I don't know about this play at all. He doesn't have any stacks. He was just taken out in the fight earlier. So his life steal is going to be quite a bit lower. All right. Here we go in with the Hyperion Dai, who is trying to work on. And Divine Shield already down. Had to be used on KO2. So that could come in handy as the Cocoon goes down. Zuna trying desperately to take out uh, Barcode, who is on Kilthos. Both of them will go down, so one for one so far as Arthalon's coming back into the fight. But Zeus, so many members are low, and a two will catch two of them. Drena and Kale, they're going to go down. Woo, crispy and two. <laughs> I love it. That was so well placed. Keep in mind, though, the boss is pushing in this top lane wall. This of course, is going so on. if at any moment Panda Global do happen to win a very convincing team fight, they're going to be able to go for core. Arthalon is after Evandrede, who is throwing down a strafe, though, too, throwing damage right back onto him. Now now Arth is in a bit of trouble, has to get the Divine Shield into a four-man in tomb, but unfortunately Zeus pays dearly for it, nearly going down there. The rest of the team has made it through the other side of the Hyperion, though they may have to back through it, and that is going to be annoying. Thankfully yes. it is Do you over. have Leoric who might be able to come back in here? Kael'thas still up in 20 seconds, but I'm not sure he'll be, Leoric will be back up before they burn this boss down. It's going to be close. Oh, watch the health bar, so Arth line getting very low. He's going to have to sit in the back line. Soldier as well. Uh, Zuna has been able to push Evandrene off, but they've pushed them completely off of the boss for now. Zuna and Arthlon very low. Arthlon kind of in a tough position there as the strafe goes down. In Tomb, once again, catches so many members in Cocoon on top of that in the back there from Uther to be Ooh. able to get the Divine Shield. Raynor is down! This is a huge. Arthlon is going to get picked off as well. Even though they have the curse, they have lost two heroes. They're big ones. Zuna, very, very low. We Soldier may be looking at a base race here. No, this is perfect. And absolutely, we're going to see Panda Global win this base race. Zuna has to get a takedown here. Does he have Lambda Slot? The bolt out is going to be good. All right, they're starting to work on the core, but now the rest of the members, Strafe is down. There is the Slaughterhouse that we see, but it's not really doing too much. They're focusing Ooh. way more on the core here. The shields are down, though, on the side of Panda Stop Global, it. but this one is starting to fall, too. There's no way. Absolutely the boss wins this race, and it looks like that's going to be the case. Panda Global will pick up game number one. Well played to them. Strong strategy, picking up that early keep. They knew the advantage they have, showing that they are the experienced team, in this case, at least <laughs> able to judge that situation better than Temple. Well, we'll see if it's going to happen here. Panda are a little bit split up into this fight, so they're going to come around. There is a seven-sided strike, and Arthlon is very, very low, but Tranquility comes down. It's going to be difficult. There is the Blessed Shield on a three into Ring of Frost. Like you said, Raynor goes down. Leoric has fallen, too. Strafe will ensure that Karazim even goes down, too. Daihu even will not survive this. Only Barcode, the lone survivor here, won't even be able to get a single takedown, and this definitely is going to be a Dragon Knight for One takedown. Oh. Except Arthalon, who seems to continue to want to go back in. The rest of the team might come back in here. Can they pick somebody up here? Yeah, the gravity lap is going to have to be on point. And actually, the pull. Arthalon is going to be able to get out. No, gets blown up. The Ring of Frost hits oh. again. Pick up two more heroes. A great counterattack. Zuna, though. Oh, he's going to be able to get out, I think. Yes, there's no way Barco is going to be able to get close enough to dish the damage out. Zoo's trying to track him down. It's not going to happen. Yeah, with that, they were able to pick up their Storm Talon, so it was just enough for Zuna to be able to pick up that Bolt of the Storm. There's not really a whole lot of dive potential, uh, with maybe with the exception of the new Barak. But. Yeah. There is the Ring of Frost down to KO working away on the keep, and any amount of distraction they can keep from that Dragonite is going to be really nice for Temple Storm, but they are getting fairly low. They will take out Raynor before Arthalon may go down. We do have a shield now, but he has to run through the Hyperion to try to get out. Going to uh, help Zuna working on Lex Uther here. The Spear will be able to catch him. He'll go down too. So now two down, none yet on the side of Temple Storm, and this should mean we go to game number three. Oh, wow, Dreadnought with the amazing body block. But yeah, it's all a little bit too late for Panda Global. We are going to game three, like you mentioned. A very strong showing, I think, pretty much from right out of the gate with the great rotations um, with Johanna and the rest of the group, showing why they are so experienced and love this battleground so In much. In terms of the rotations, like providing that secondary shot calling like, in terms of where to go. Speaking of that, Vala gets picked <laughs> off as well. So a great start for Temple Storm so far.
And a fight happening in the mid two as we get ready for the night phase as KO is stuck in some roots there, but Sonia will be the one to go down. So two takedowns already in favor. Daihu gets hit by the Hammer of Justice. Will he be able to get away? A lot of body blocks there. No, a third takedown already in favor of Tempo Storm. They actually have a really good rotation too, knowing that they have their heroic abilities. And in fact, Panda Global do not huge amounts of damage, even the Death Coil on top of Jundae will not be enough to take them out, but they bought enough time to get yet another four. Only one four remaining already for Panda Global. Down a full two levels, and I love this aggression from Tempo Storm. Oh, Tempo Storm, they're, they're mad. They're mad. <laughs> <laughs> this is just angry play out of Tempo Storm. They're like, nah, you're gonna try to embarrass us, game number one. We will fire back. This decision making is insane. Yeah. Knowing their opponents are going to be a bottom, not choosing to try to rotate in. Instead, they just take a keep. Why not take a keep? Tranquility is going to come in, but immediately Devouring Moss stops that from being able to heal up the teammates. They are very low, though. They've lost the guard. Wrecking Ball comes in. Arthas will go down, too, and uh, they might lose some uh -oh. more members. Yeah, they've lost Uther, too. It was very aggressive, but they still were able to secure a very early keep out of it. They have a Garden Terra. They might lose Arthalon, though. Can they get in some stuns? Yes. Marco trying to just stall and slow with the rest of his kit as much as possible, but does this put him in a bad position? Uses the Ice Block to actually chill some of the targets to keep them from trying to chase, but this could be a disaster! Oh, Arthalon is down, but so is Malfurion, and now it is two down on each side, as we still do have Daihu trying desperately to save Barcode, but it will oh. not be enough. Sonya goes down, too. Sole remaining member is that Murden. Somehow I have. Oh, a great talent or traded uh, stun from Arthon. Really smart. Gets the three heroes. Oh, hold on a second. The last second divine shield onto Arthas. Oh, so many members inside of that devouring maw. Vala already goes down. We do have the ice block once again into the tranquility, but he's kind of zoned out away from the rest of the teammates. In fact, Jaina so zoned so far away by that Arthas. Sonia will go down now. We have Dai who did get polymorphed by that. Uh, that Garden Terror and Jaina is taken out. Only Malfurion and Muradin remain as the Garden Terror pushes down toward the core for 51 more seconds until everyone is back up. And this should be game, Kubi, for Tempo Storm. Yeah, <laughs> the Pyroblast just to really seal the deal. A great Maw. Can't stress enough how strong that Maw was. No way they were able to kill for that. And getting that Divine Shield at the last second from Dreadnought. Just really solid play. I will go ahead and say they were, they were setting up a party bush right at the end of that. Again, it comes down to knowing that they need to make sort of a big play happen, mm -hmm. catch somebody off guard and try to swing some momentum back in their favor.